Crazy Rich Asians. What? Today we're making the wedding dress from the Crazy Rich Asians movie. There might be spoilers in this video, but you've seen the movie already, so it doesn't matter. You've seen it, right? If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. But I'm a little bit mad also. I love this movie, I love the wedding scene, I love this wedding dress, so let's get started. Now to create this cake, I'm using two chocolate box cake mixes that I baked in my doll cake pan. For each box of chocolate cake, it says to add half a cup of oil, but I wanted this to be super rich, so I replaced one of the half cups with half a cup of Nutella. <laughs> it was so chocolatey and thick. It felt like eating a brownie as opposed to eating chocolate cake. Oh. God, it was so good. And I leveled off my cake with my serrated knife. And then I just cut it into three equal layers. And I wanted this cake to be extremely moist because it's different than my other cakes because people are actually gonna eat it at a birthday party. So it's not gonna go into my compost pile like all my other cakes. <laughs> and I added some simple syrup in between each layer and then I added some chocolate ganache. Usually I add buttercream, but buttercream wasn't as rich as ganache. And again, it's just crazy rich Asians. So I wanted this to be crazy rich in texture and flavor. Holy moly, everything in that movie is like crazy rich. They have bling for days. Now I added my second layer of cake and just repeated that process and added on my top layer. Now I covered my cake in chocolate ganache and I placed it into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Chocolate ganache and chocolate cake is, it's to die for. No, you want to eat a lot of it, so you want to live, it's to live for. Now I cut a hole at the top of my cake and I placed my doll in the middle. Now I covered her legs with saran wrap because I didn't want her legs to get dirty. Now I'm just going to use her as a guide and cut away a slice at the front of the cake. The wedding dress in the movie has this slit in the front of it and it's really high at the front but then it's like long on the sides and the back so that you can see the woman's legs as she's walking down the aisle. Holy moly does she walk down that aisle. Now let's work on my fondant. Now I rolled out a very large piece of white fondant and I just figured out how to create this circle more easily. I just take a 14 inch cake board, place it on top and cut out the shape using my pizza cutter. I would usually just cut out a 14 inch circle by hand and I would mess up a lot so I had to re-roll my fondant. Now this wedding dress has a lot of tool and to make this look more like tool I just took my sculpting tool and just added some fabric texture. And I placed this on top of my cake and then using my hands I just enhance all of the ruffles that fall naturally down the side of the cake. This dress looks super full on the bottom, so I wanted to make sure that this cake had that same effect. And I just pressed my fondant into the slit at the front of the dress. Now the wedding dress has like layers of fabric, so the bottom layer is like tulle, and then champagne fabric, then tulle, and then champagne fabric on top. I didn't want to be layering a lot of fondant, so I took a paring knife and just cut away the top part of my white fondant. So I'm leaving about half of the cake exposed at the top. Just took a sculpting tool and blended the edge of the white fondant to the rest of the cake. And then I repeated this process with a 10 inch circle of champagne colored fondant. I didn't give it the tool texture because it's just supposed to be like this really silky champagne colored fabric. I just enhanced all of the folds at the bottom and then cut away the excess fondant, leaving about a third of the cake exposed. I'm gonna add two small panels of fondant to the front of the dress right where the opening is and just create some ruffles on the side. Then I'm going to add a six inch circle of ruffled white fondant to the top and just added some small folds so that I can control the ruffles at the front. Now these folds have to look like tool as well so I'm adding that same texture using my sculpting tool. I'm gonna grab my Barbie and place her into the middle of the dress without the saran wrap. 
and I sealed her in with some champagne fondant. I created a top for her, but I'm not gonna show you how I made it because in the end, I ended up just ripping it off. And then I added another layer of champagne fondant to create the top ruffles. So I googled a lot of images of the dress online and I tried to get the ruffles on the front to look as close as I could to those images. I just took my sculpting tools and just added some fabric details so that it blended in with her waist. Now this is a wedding dress so I want it to be like as flashy as possible. I'm adding some shine to the white tool fondant by dry brushing on some white luster dust. Now the champagne fabric actually has embroidery but it's so small when you're doing it on a doll cake so I just took a brush and just very randomly placed on some gold splatter. You could actually like take the time to like ice all of the embroidery details but I I didn't want to. <laughs> I was going to say I ran out of time but I did and I had plenty of time. <laughs> I just didn't want to. The top of the wedding dress in the movie has this see-through fabric. I thought that the top that I created was too thick, so I decided to rip it off and just paint it on some gold luster dust directly on the doll. I just mixed it with some clear piping gel. Gave her top the same sort of texture that's on the actual dress. And then I painted her leg because her leg is like gold. And she's like walking down the aisle and you can see her legs. Pretend these hands are like feet, like gold painted feet. And then she's walking down the aisle like this. You better have watched it. I'm gonna be so disappointed if you write in the comments I haven't seen it. I'm gonna, oh my gosh. It's. That oh, was so good. And to finish this doll off, I hot glue gunned her veil to the back of her head. I imagine that's how all veils get put on. Hot glue gun the bride's hair and then you just stick on the veil like that. And then I added some gold fondant flowers and two strips of gold fondant to create earrings. Voila! My Crazy Rich Asians doll cake was complete. Oh gosh, it's gorgeous this dress is bomb initially i only watched it because i'm asian and there's a whole bunch of asians and i want to support all of my asian homies but the wedding sequence i was in my movie theater chair just going wow i mean you've seen so many brides walk down the aisle you've never seen a bride walk down the aisle like this <clears throat> It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and I'm gonna give away one $20 gift card to any movie theater, to anyone who comments, hashtag, I wanna be a crazy rich Asian. <laughs> it's on my dime, you guys. I'm not crazy rich, but I am Asian. So remember, hashtag, I wanna be a crazy rich Asian. And you should also like the video and subscribe. But I don't know how to check that, so the honor system, you guys. Honor system. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more doll cakes, just wait. Just wait. I've got, I've, I don't even know if I can talk about it because it's not on my YouTube channel, but I've got a whole bunch of doll cakes coming your way from elsewhere. It is, oh my god, I'm so proud of them. Also, you can check out more of my doll cakes in this in this playlist. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye. Peace.